Hey guys, so Jitendra Aswani here from Upload World Asia. So this is our first day, and I'm with Matt Digiti from DigitiMarketing.com. So everyone knows Matt that he's he's into more into PBN and his network is great. So Matt, please introduce yourself to my audience, man. Hello, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. We've been talking for a while, but yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Finally, we got it together, and it happened to be in Thailand. So thanks for coming out. Um, so my name is Matt Diggity. I'm an SEO, 100%. I would call it gray hat SEO if you were to put a label on it. Great mm. SEO, yeah. So my main ranking technique is PBN, like Jatendra said. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I've been doing this for years now, years and years, and I make 100% of my living from ranking affiliate websites, and which is kind of why I'm here at Affiliate World Asia. So how difficult is to rank a new affiliate site, which is very new, the domain age and uh, the page of thirty is very low. How you will rank this site? What will be your best strategy? What you would recommend a guy who comes to you, Dad, Matt? I want links from your network. So how you would uh, guide him through the process? Okay. So, um, all right. I always get into these interview sections, and I, uh, I, I ask myself if I give away too much. And here, here's me giving away too much right yes. now. Yeah. Uh, so the thing is, you're probably wondering about the sandbox. Yeah, sandbox thing also. Yeah. You got a new domain and you're just thinking, okay, how do I get out of the sandbox? How do I speed up the process? When can I send links? Stuff like that. So what I do is I kind of just skirt around this whole process. And what I what I will do is I'll, every I don't know the beginning of the year I'll go out and buy about 50 domains in generic domains in in niches that could be generally covered. Like um, like if I know I'm going to be getting into beauty. I'll oh, go yeah. buy a bunch of domains that are like katesbeautytips.com or okay. or uh, Johnny's J looking good Johnny.com. Oh, God. Okay. So these so, kind of domains. Yeah, I'll go buy those domains and I'll go out and get hosting for them and I'll host them up. I'll put on WordPress. I'll do the very basic SEO, maybe a hundred word article. I'll fill out the SEO title tag, put in the plugin, stuff like that, and I just let them sit. They're sitting there for a rainy day when I decide to use these PBNs for money sites. When that happens, you put on content, you can rank in a week. They have already been aged. They're already, I call them ice domains. They've already been on ice. So these are domains that are ready to use. They will not experience sandbox. Okay, so these kind of domains will not experience sandbox. And uh, if I want to rank for very competitive keywords, so what would be your strategy to me that say, GTN, you have to do this for your site uh, to beat this high authority site on the Google? You need to get these kind of links from me, and this will help you to beat the competitor. So mm. What would be your strategy? Okay, so let's imagine we're in a situation where you're trying to rank for a search, and everybody yeah. up there is, is yeah. high authority. High authority sites. High authority sites. Okay. Typically, in these kind of situations, you have three assets that are really going to work well for you. Number one is if you pick an EMD or a PMD. EMD type. Okay. It's an incredible advantage. You can laser through the competition if you're just more on topic than they are. <laughs> Number two would be you can brute force it with size, right? So what I mean by that is instead of making a small domain, you know you're going up against a big authority site. Right. You have to try to imitate that yourself. You have to make a huge amount of pages, high amount of content on your site, and that will help you as well. And have it all be about the same topic you're trying to rank for. That's the disadvantage the authority site has because they're trying to rank for best razors and best shaving cream and a hair loss product or something like that. You're just going for the best razor or whatever that might be. Okay. Any content strategy will work here for the PBNs? Sorry, c can you rephrase? Uh, what would be the content strategies for the PBN? Content strategy, what, what to put on the PBNs? Yeah. I go high quality, man. Like, we have to remember at the end of the day, like Google doesn't like PBNs. Yeah, but because I've seen that some kind, some bloggers around there, and they just try to use spin content on on PBNs. So, is this a right way to use your PBN? If it works, it works. I'm not knocking anybody who wants to save on okay. cost in order to like power their way to the top. Yeah. However, my strategy has been going a little bit of a quality over quantity, and what I've been doing is going super high quality on the PBNs to the point that the PBNs can rank themselves. Now when the PBNs can rank, they're pulling in traffic themselves. Some of that traffic is going through the link you created to your money site. Okay. This is where the real power comes from. Links with traffic. Links with traffic. Okay. Yeah, so I've been able to penetrate some pretty, pretty nasty niches 
with just a handful of PBNs, maybe 10 to 20 PBNs for some really challenging stuff. Okay, so how do you handle all your PBNs? It is because you have a lot of PBNs in different different issues. So how difficult for you is to handle all these t PBNs? So can you share your strategy, secret strategy here? <laughs> how you handle it? Man? The only thing I can say is be open to partnerships, for so sure. Do you have uh, different different partners here? Absolutely, absolutely. PBN itself is a full-time job, especially managing, uh, I think I'm working towards 4,000 right now. 4,000 PBNs. Now you, wow. There's no way a single person can manage that. There's, it's impossible, even if you have the best spreadsheet system on the planet. You need people to be divided into specific jobs. Maybe a guy who goes out and buys them. Maybe a guy who goes out and sets them up. Maybe some person who handles the content. Just diversifying your, your business in such a way is the only way you can get it done on a large scale. Okay, great. So this is so you have your good team who, who's handling all this all these kind of stuff. So what kind of SEO tools you are using for tracking your rankings? So any kind of tools you want to recommend and which are your favorite tools right now? Hmm. So Rank Tracker is a... Uh, rank Tracker, okay. Certfox has the prettiest graphs. So if you have customers, I think they have the prettiest graphs. Other than that, it's pretty bare bones. They don't have too many features. Okay. I would say the b for, uh, for features, Pro Rank Tracker is pretty solid, at least in my opinion. This is your favorite tool. Any more tools for tracking backlinks and? Uh, rank trackers, no. Um, the tool I use most often is SEMrush. SEMrush is, is one of the favorite uh, tools for internet marketers, I think, right? Yeah, it's just great. I mean, we don't have to think anymore. It's just, just reverse engineer the competition, keyword research done. Right, right. Yeah. So why are you staying in Thailand? Your main reason for staying in Thailand because it's, it's very easy and it's very uh, feasible to stay here. Reason for staying in Thailand? You know, I just grew out of the States. Uh, <laughs> when I've, I'd been traveling, I travel a lot in my life, and I've been to many countries, and I just find this is the best for me. I love it here. So uh, this place is cool for you, right? Yeah. For and sure. your experiences in Affiliate World Asia right now, it's, how do you feel here? Confused. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is not a normal place for an SEO. This is a PPC man's place. Yeah, but because everyone here is into paid paid marketing, right? Yeah, absolutely. But yeah. it's still a lot of fun, and it's cool to see this side of it. I'm always really excited to see good speakers, so I'm, I'm pumped out to see yeah, it. Like I'm excited to, to see Neil Patel here right now, because I just came from India to see Neil Patel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. I'll see you there. Yeah. So do you read any, any kind of SEO blogs to improve your knowledge? So how do you get all this kind of knowledge about PBNs? How do you get accumulated? So can you share something here? All right. So it, it was a few years back. I, my, my expertise, my former life, my, my last life, I was an electrical engineer. So electrical engineer. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. So uh, I guess that instilled in me back in the day, you know, you should really just do your own testing. Nothing really, nothing is really true just because you read it. You should do your own testing. Um, so I basically everything that I come up with is based on test out of my own experiments. The testing is the key. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But on top of that, you know, I do like to catch up on what people are doing. I read Charles. I read, um, yeah, I, I read various blogs. But you know, I really only rely on myself for determining if something is going to so work. You, you try to do a lot of experiments around your blogs and PBNs, and you see that what are working for you and what is not working for you, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So your strategies for 2017? Uh, yeah, like I said before, it's all about the traffic. I think uh, the best ranking signal these days is going to be traffic, whether it comes from your PBNs or even PPC can generate traffic as well. Okay. So you try to rank your PBNs or you try to rank your m main sites, the money sites? <laughs> I try to rank both. <laughs> <laughs> I try to rank both, but definitely the money site comes yeah, first. PBNs so, but just... But uh, I, I, I have done some experiments and I have seen that my... PBN sites are ranking higher. Why? Was there any kind of reason for that or what? Uh, well, I, I'm assuming this is for a new site, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you have to think at the end of the day, like, your PBN has more age, it has more links already, it has more authority, it has more trust in Google's eyes. That's People still use PBNs for money sites all the time. Right. Okay. So you just haven't given your money site long enough of a chance. Sooner or later, it'll take the overtake the PBN for sure. Great, great. And you are calling a lot of uh, SEO experts around the world to this place, Thailand. So how do you convincing them to be there in Thailand and share their valuable things about SEO, PBNs, a lot of, because I've seen your updates on Facebook. You are a very active social media guy and your SEO updates, meeting you, a lot of people. I'm really 
impressed. So how 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 do you do this, man? Okay, so the first question was how do how do I get people out here to Thailand? Yeah, I think Thailand does that for me. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, but it, where I live up in up in the north, up in Chiang Mai, it's really really a hotbed for SEO and digital entrepreneurship in general. There's just such a huge scene there for entrepreneurs digitally and making money online. So people want to come see that and experience it and see what it's like to be immersed in SEO every day. Where every coffee shop you go, you're going to run into someone talking about this or that related SEO. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think Thailand does it for me. Okay, so Thailand works for you right now. Yeah. Great. So thank you. Anything else that do you want to share right now to my audience? Related to PBNs and anything else you have in your mind? Um, you know, not that I can really think of, but uh, yeah, I get this question a lot. What's, what's going to happen with PBNs? I don't think we have much to worry about. There's so much other sh junk that's still working right now in SEO. Google's got to take that stuff out first. So keep experimenting and keep having more and more PBNs in your pocket, right? Yeah, if that's yeah. your ranking technique, if you're white hat, do the white hat. If you're gray hat, do the PBN. You got it. Cool. So thank you so much, Matt, for sharing your experience in PBN. And I hope you like this interview, man. That was very fun. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah.